One upside to not being a live show is that when I get to talk into a guest, I do not have to be limited by the clock, which I love. If our chats go along, we just air more later. So last month, we had Jamie Lee Curtis here. She has become one of my favorite guests ever. I love her, um, especially for stories like this. Um, we, I love teachers. My mom was a teacher. I you love had a teacher teachers. in your life that really okay, stood so out for you, right? It's so funny because Kara and I talked about this. So I'm, I couldn't crawl out of high school. I barely could spell high school. I really wasn't a student. The delivery system didn't work for me. I wasn't a good student. Yeah. I had, um, and so I was terrible in school. My grades were awful. 840 combined SAT scores. Combined. Com she said combined. <laughs> you take two numbers, you combine them. Mine were 840. <laughs> you Not knew good. that much. <laughs> um, but in eighth grade, I had public, high school, public junior high. Um, I had an American history teacher named Mr. George Forges. And it was at Beverly Hills Public School. Mm -hmm. And he stood up and he said, the way I teach is we lecture, we talk. I, we, I won't give you any tests. And there's no written work. But three times a year, you're going to pick subjects and do oral reports. That's how you're going to get your grade. And if you do your oral report and say, Paul Revere's ride was the thing, the Revolutionary War, blah, 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 you'll get a C, you'll pass my class. So if you do anything more interestingly, your grade will go up. So, and it was a lottery system. I got a high lottery number, and I picked Paul Revere's ride, right? <laughs> Revolutionary War, Paul Revere's ride. So I went in the bathroom. So I wrote this thing. But then I went in the bathroom, and like when it was my day to present, and I changed out of my clothes into a green leotard with green tights and had a little antenna <laughs> that I had built with like tin foil. And I walked in the classroom, and all my classmates were like, <laughs> and I Strange. walked up to the podium and I stood there and said, hi, I'm a flea and I got on this horse oh my God. and boy, do I have a, tell, a story to tell you. And I proceeded to tell the story of Paul Revere's ride through the flea on the horse and I'll tell you what, I got an A plus. <laughs> The only A plus I ever got in my life. And years later, I write books for children. And I was given an award by the American Teachers uh, Awards. They do them every year on ABC. And they give a celebrity, you know, a, a non-teacher who's a writer, blah, blah, blah. They give them yeah. an award. I was given an award. And I framed my report card from Mr. Forges and found him. He lived in Palm Springs. I sent a car for him, and he came as my date. And when I got my award, I said, I don't deserve an award. The person who deserves the award is my American history teacher, Mr. Forges, and presented him the framed, my framed report card with the A from his class. Oh my gosh, that's so, I'm glad that you talked about it too, that you weren't like this perfect student. Because it shows people that you don't have to be perfect. It isn't, the, the school system isn't for everyone. How you said, like, well, it's delivered delivery to you isn't. the system. Exactly. And by the way, now I have had a child with, uh, who's a different learner. Um, I have two. There are auditory learners. There are experiential learners. I mean, there are a lot of different ways people receive information. I am not it. the rote learning method. Me neither. The noise just didn't, and I don't, I, I don't think I have necessarily a learning disability. But the delivery system didn't really work for yeah. me. I just love that you're open about it, though, too, because that, that make, it empowers people that are in school struggling, you know what I'm saying, and having a hard time. And, like, look what you can here, achieve in here, your life. Is there you know? a camera on me? Is that camera on me? Yeah. Yes. It's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. Yeah. It is. It's going to be okay. Jamie has written 13 children's books. Her latest is out now. It's called Just One More Sleep. All good things come to those who wait and wait and wait. I love the title. We'll be right back with what I'm liking.